All right, so I'm just going to go over IQ Cent. This is our broker and the platform that you're going to be placing all your trades and making all of your money. To get to this page, you can just type in iqcent.com. And then we're just going to log in. So if you do have a demo account, you received your login information for that account separately. And it's essentially the email address you signed up with at iqcent.com. And then they give you a password. So just make sure that when you're signing in that you're using the correct login information for the account that you're intending to use. The only difference is that your demo account is your virtual money that you can use to practice and your real account is obviously your real money. So I'm going to sign in with my demo account. So the first thing I want to go over is this left sidebar where it says currencies. So this is all a list of your currencies. As you can see, we can also trade commodities, crypto, and stocks, but for right now, we're just focusing on the currencies. So next to each currency pair, for example, USD SEC, there's a percentage. This is called your payout percentage. Essentially, the payout percentage is just telling you how much profit you're going to make if you trade with that currency pair. So for example, let's say you're going to enter a trade with USD RUB which has a payout percentage of 90%. So if you win the trade, you'll be making 90% of however much you risk. If you navigate to the right side where it says amount and profit, your profit is essentially showing you your payout percentage. So the amount is where you enter the amount you want to risk, and that's how much you lose if you lost a trade. And then the profit is just showing you, in this case, 90% of your risk which would be $9. So you'd make $9 if you won the trade and you'd lose $10 if you lost a trade. So obviously the higher the payout percentage, the better. But for this reason, we don't enter trades that have a payout percentage under 70%. This is something I take note of. So for example, we wouldn't enter USC CAD because it has a payout percentage of 60%, which is under 70. So now I wanna talk about the chart. So I'm just going to be giving you a basic understanding of what the chart is showing you because you're going to be learning more about that as you go. But essentially, all you're seeing is a line moving up and down. If the line is moving up, the price is increasing. And if the line is going down, the price is decreasing for the specific currency pair that you're on. You can see the price, the current price of the market, by looking at this orange box or by looking right here. And all of the prices are on this vertical axis right here. As you can see, price is constantly fluctuating. It's constantly moving up and down. So when we're buying or hitting the call button, we're expecting price to go up. And when we're selling or hitting the put button, we're expecting price to go down. But right now, that's all you really need to know for a basic understanding. So now I want to go over the right sidebar. So at the top, you're going to see the amount of money you have in your account to trade with. So this says 63.46 in my demo account. So for option type, we're going to leave it on turbo for right now because for the most part, that's what you're going to be using. But basically just showing you your options for the expiration times you set on your trade. So for turbo, that's your minute expiration times. For intraday, that's your hourly expiration times. So if you go down to time, this is where you can actually choose your expiration time. It goes from 1 minute to 30 minutes. This means that in X amount of minutes, you're going to know the outcome of your trade. And then for fixed time, you don't really need to know much about that other than you just need to keep it turned off. Going down to amount, as I said earlier, this is where you enter the amount you want to risk on the trade. Do not risk more than 3% of your account for each trade that you enter. I would write that down or take note of that somewhere. Do not risk more than 3% of your account for each trade that you enter. So in this case, I have, nine, I have $63 in my account. So that means that if I wanted to place a trade right now, that I should risk about... 189. Even though I'm on my demo account and it's virtual money, it's still good to practice risk management on your demo account. Keep in mind that doing this will help you grow your account faster and the more you grow your account, the more you're able to risk per trade. 
So next I wanna show you how to actually place trades and what that would look like. So to do this, I'm gonna show you some examples as if you were on a go live session where one of our six to seven figure educators is calling out trades. So let's say that you're on go live You're gonna go down to HFX. All right, so let's say that it's Wednesday at 2 p.m. and I wanna go on this live analysis. So I'm gonna click on this educator's name or face and if he was live right now, you would see his screen right here, but obviously he's not live right now. Next to the screen, there's a chat box. And this is where he'd be typing in all of the trades that he calls out. So you're going to have this go live page open and you're going to have IQ sent open. So let me show you a couple examples of what it would look like in the chat box when an educator calls out trades. Maybe not exactly, but they're going to give the same information. So over here, I have two examples, one buy example and one sell example. They would say something in the chat box like Euro USD five minute buy price 675. The first thing you're gonna do is find the currency pair Euro USD. Right here and make sure that the payout percentage is 70% or higher. So we can trade this because it's 75%. Then you're gonna change the expiration time to five minutes like he said. And then you're gonna type in a proper risk amount, about 189 for this example. And then finally, he's calling out a buy for price 675. So as I said, this shows you the current price of the market. Whenever you see price being referred to as three digits, that's always going to be the last three digits of price. So if this were a real trade being called out, I want to point out that whenever you're going in for a buy at a certain price, you can enter at that price or below. And for a sell, you are going to enter at that price or above. So soon you're going to know more about why and it's going to make sense to you. But for right now, I would just take a picture of the screen right now so that you have it for reference whenever you need it. Another thing I want to point out is that buy is also known as call and sell is also known as put. So if you're going in for a buy, you'd hit this green call button. And if you're going in for a sell, you'd hit this red put button. So the last thing I want to show you is a live buy and sell example, but I'm not going to be using any strategies or analysis or go live or anything. So this is not how you would actually place trades. You need some type of analysis to get the confirmations that you need, which you're going to be learning about. So simple scalper is the first strategy you'll most likely be learning about. We actually have a list of go live videos in this chat teaching you that strategy that you can start off watching as soon as you can. There are other strategies, but that's the one we recommend you start learning first. So to place these trades, I'm simply going to go off the fact that we buy low and sell high. This is an important concept, so I'd write that down, but it's definitely not something to base your trades solely off of. I'm just doing that right now to save time and give you a general idea of how it looks when you place a trade. So for example, I'm just going to put a put right here for one minute. But as you can see, when I place the trade, you see a horizontal line. When we sell, this orange line has to close below the red horizontal line in order for us to win the trade. If it closes above, then we lose the trade. So as you can see, last minute, we did win this trade. So in one minute, I got 1890 US dollars. Why did I get 18 and not 890? Because every time you place a trade, it actually takes the amount you risk right away. When I placed that trade, it took the $10 right away. And then when I won the trade, it gave me the $10 back plus my profit. So that's why it says 1890. 
But again, you would not place, you would place it with proper risk management. That was just because I had to refresh the page and then it automatically set at 10. But always remember to set the amount at a proper risk price. So that was a put example. Now I'm going to show you a call example. So I would say I could put a call right here and we're going to do the 189 this time and just place a call. So now you see a teal blue line right here. By the end of this horizontal line, depending on where this orange line is, above or below, that will tell us whether we won or lost the trade. If it closes above, we won the trade for a call. If it closes below, we lose the trade for a call. So it's the opposite because when we're buying, we're expecting price to go up and when we're selling, we're expecting price to go down. So we're just waiting till this line reaches this point right here, which is where the horizontal line ends. And we want it to close above this horizontal line. So again, you can see a green box where we won the trade. And then it says 357 US dollars because it took away the 189. And then when we won the trade, it gave it back plus the profit. So that's essentially how you place trades on IQ Cent. There is something called rollover and double up. You don't need to worry too much about it, but basically when you place a trade, and if you are in go live sessions, the educator will actually tell you when to roll over. You would just hit this timer that is underneath rollover to roll over a trade. That just gives you more time on the trade. You're going to learn more about that as you learn about the different strategies, but I just wanted to show you where it was and what you would click. It would show up as a timer. And then double up is something that would show up under here. It would be something like a times two or something where you could click it. And essentially it's going to place you into the same trade at the price that it's currently at, but double the amount that you risk. So you could potentially make more profit. But yeah, for right now, this is all you really need to know for a basic understanding to get you started with placing trades on IQCent. Euro. Uh, getting now sell equals put six time off six eighty seven six eighty seven or above price price six eighty seven let's go let's go let's go let me know if you got in for that one minute sell. Let me know, let me know. If you need to roll over one time, go ahead and do it. Let me know if anybody got to clear that one right there, put it in the chat box. Awesome. Clear, clear, clear.